Pilot's log start date 2022 07, that's July 22. Today is Friday. Happy Friday to you wherever you are. Uh, this is Hypertech Zero transmitting to you from Central Michigan. And we have some good news after the other vote the other day. It was a close call, but the goose won out by one vote. So I went ahead and I bought the Grumman Juliet Romeo Foxtrot Goose. Goose. An Aero Flyer, a Whirly Bird from the, I think, 1930s or something. Made with love by big radios. I tried the freeware version a while back. Uh, and I've heard good things about the payware one, so I opened up my digital wallet. I Some money fell out through the digital pipes of the internet into the pockets of the developers. And I was uh, rewarded with a download link. I have downloaded the, the it's about 1.6 gigabytes, the airplane. And then I opened up the zip and dragged and dropped the folder, the Grumman Goose folder from the, from the compressed archive into my community folder. I fired a Microsoft Flight Simulator and here we are. Uh, there's key version and there's uh there's a regular version and a, according to the um according to the developers uh, documentation um i haven't looked at all the documents are just like a brief introduction this aircraft is based on a real life goose i think uh based out of alaska and it's not the ones that are in as they put it in the manual glorified water taxis for you know the great gatsby and other new york uh <laughs> rich aficionados this is the actual uh, navy trainer so that's kind of exciting it's a unusual airplane but what i'm most excited about is the the sound of the engines of this thing the radio engines i mean the the actual name of the developer is big radios so you can uh you can tell where their heart lies and i'm excited to listen to uh to this goose uh do its thing uh, we're going to fire it up. Uh, I don't have NeoFly on today, but uh, let me fire up Sim Toolkit Pro so that we can have landing rate guesses uh, if we manage a landing in this thing. I think it's a pretty docile bird from what I've heard. And um, we're just going to take it for a ride, see if we can figure out how to turn it on, uh, take off, do some circuits, touch and goes, landings. 
uh, see some of the features. I think that is a full fuel system uh, that's modeled. Um, and uh, see what we feel about it. There's a lot of uh, video games calling my name in the video game world. No Man's Sky, uh, yet another free update from No Man's Sky. We have uh, the Endurance update. I was going to do that this afternoon, but um, my Endurance after a meeting at 4 o'clock in the morning last night uh, is, was a little limited this morning, so, and I had a bunch of other chores and things to do to organize here. Uh, so I didn't get to do today's stream. Next week, we should be back to regular... Um, the regular uh, schedule, 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, New York City or Central Michigan time, which is actually the same time zone. We're right on the right edge of the time zone. Tomorrow should be able to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, still getting uh, getting uh, set up here. I've One thing I've managed to do is I managed to fix, hopefully, the green screen so that it doesn't uh, fall on my head anymore. If there's a gust of wind, it'll blow it around. You might see, uh, you know, like the back here appear a little bit. Um, but it's fine because I can just let it go. And it doesn't fall on my head or smash into the computer or anything. It just, uh, it's there. So, um, let's, uh, yeah, one step at a time. We're going to, we have a new Instagram page. It's a, it's a dedicated page, which should be uh, Instagram.com slash hypertext. Hero Actual, not just Hypertext Hero, but Hypertext Hero Actual. Let's get this going. Let's take a look at the plane. I'm going to just pick the one of the wheels. Since it's the old school plane, it's not the, uh, it's not like the regular, uh, the modern, more modernized one. We're not going to have uh, movable, uh, retractable floats, uh, electric landing gear. So it's all going to be a more manual thing. And I like that. So, cause I like World War II era or early, I like early aviation, uh, whirly birds. Um, let's pick a place to fly from. Let's take a live weather. And, uh, should we go somewhere in Alaska? Maybe should we go somewhere nearby where we are and see, we got Matt out there. Iceberg for all is flying about maybe somewhere of water nearby. Um, we could go to New York City, an iconic place, and maybe we should go somewhere different. Look at all, the, all these places here. Should we go, uh, should we fly to where my dad used to live for a couple of years of his life? I've never been to this place, but my dad did live in, uh, um, what was it called? Around here, I think. St. Lucia. Is this St. Lucia? St. Lucia. Wow. Grenadines. Let's look that up. Let's look that up. Let's look at where is St. Lucia? St. Lucia Island. Yes, I think I was right. View four. That's right. Look at the Google map. Saint right it's right between Martinique and Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay. There's Grenada, Saint Vincent the Grenadine, and then Saint Lucia. Okay. So this here is Granada. It's funny that in, in the map, they don't put the name of the island. They put the name of the field, okay? That's Granada. I have some awesome little islands here. This is St. Vincent and the Grenadines with Georgetown. And up here, Soufrière, Vieuxfort, and Castries. That, people of the stream, is St. Lucia. That's where we're gonna... That's where I'm taking... Hey, Tim Pickle, good day. I hope that you're not in a pickle jar with all those uh, software uh, data uh, data uh, uh, algorithms and uh, uh, data sets. What was it called? Uh, I hope that you're doing all right. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines sounds like a band. Yeah, that could be a good name for a band, right? It's funny that Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't put the name there. They just of the island. Maybe that's on purpose. I like that because you know what? I don't like countries. I like towns. 
countries divide people too much towns you know they can still divide people a little bit if you were in uh Italy before like the 1900s or something all the towns were their own little forts and they fought a lot at each other with each other you can uh, play a little bit of that if you played Assassin's Creed 2 but uh, it's good to I, uh, borders on maps I, I I don't like them they just cause trouble so let's go to my dad lived here in St. Lucia um before two three or four years before he met my mom so I've never been here I'd like to be go here one day because the place where my dad lived you know and I've never been to this part of the world the, uh, the, uh, you know, the Caribbean. Just, uh, all these little islands. I really like islands. Let's just pick, uh, maybe the Castries. Let's see. Let's pick a place that we can, uh, start, uh, cold. There's only two airfields. I think there's, uh, Castries and there's Vio 4. So let's start at Castries. And, uh, we'll just put ourselves, uh, actually, let's start at Vio 4. And we'll put ourselves in the in a parking ramp here and uh right there we'll go to ramp one you know flight conditions live weather live traffic we are in the uh east usa server thanks for dropping by tim i hope you're having an excellent uh friday happy friday any plans for the weekend video games uh drinking beer Eating out, uh, how's the weather? There's a hot as hell. My, I talked to my aunt on email. She said she didn't know what to do. 40 degrees centigrade in the UK. No one has air conditioner there because they don't experience these temperatures. So she was thinking about getting in the car and turning on the air conditioner. You know, she's, she's elderly and uh, and it's worrying. But now, now the temperature has gone down, thankfully, she said. But it's a big uh, wake-up call, she said, for them because they have not experienced that before. All right. Here in Hypertex UHQ uh, this uh, weekend, uh, we have some friends coming over that we haven't seen for quite a while who live about three hours away. So uh, streaming will be limited, but we will have a long stream tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I'm going to do a long stream and, um, and uh, I'm excited for all these different types of video games that we have to play here. And I'm very excited for this plane. We had a vote on the stream the other day. And, um, and, uh, this one by one point, you know, there wasn't that many of you. Oh, man. It's, that's a problem. Let's, uh, well, let's put the parking brake off. And let's move her back a little bit. We don't want that. I am excited, most excited, I'm most um, excited about with this plane, about the sound of the engines. I've heard good things about them. And someone made a comment on a forum because I was asking, does this have wise 3D sa uh, sound, you know, implemented? And they're like, oh, why do you care about that? No, it doesn't really matter if it's the format, but I don't know. I'm not a, a pro in that, but I think that from my understanding is the wise uh, sound is 3d so this positional audio so if you like move the mouse around the airplane like if you do um, or if you go if you're in front of it and if you go to the side and if you go to the back it changes the sound as it should you know if the, if the thing is traveling away from you the sound sounds different like a ambulance or a, or a plane flying by and I that's what I understood that to be maybe I'm wrong but um, there you go but I, that's important for me. Audio is very important for me. Take a quick look. Matt, how's it going, man? I saw you were flying over the state somewhere. I'm here in uh, St. Lucia. Let me put that on the screen. Um, I am currently at... Um... Good choice, huh? I'm glad. Tango Lima, Papa Lima in St. Lucia, where my dad lived before he met my mom. Tango Lima, Papa Lima. He, he lived for a, for a couple of years there. Let me put that here on the screen. Tango Lima, Papa Lima. Okay, maybe I should put like current position as well. 
Oh, I'll just leave it like that. Oh, why not? Here in position, Tango Lima, Papa Lima. Sewer bat in the house, kind of like a light source thing, but for audio. That's an excellent way to put it. So I, I guess I have a good, so I guess I understand it right, right? Wise, wise, it's two W's. So it's like actually four V's, you know, because a W is basically two V's. I don't remember if it was the Romans who added that or as after the Romans. So I'm going to see if we can turn her on. This thing really looks like a bat car, a flying bat car. It's like the design, like 19, that wonderful 1930s design. Look at that weathering. I haven't done, I just loaded it up. I haven't done any custom skin for it. Eventually we'll get to that and we're going to paint it orange for Sheepa. Maybe he'll let us do this instead of the widgeon, because I think the sound of these uh, uh, wasp, I think they're called uh, radio engines, they're going to sound better than the uh, wonderful looking engine. It looks like a P-47 with a, you know, they took a P-40, well, that was, this was before the P-47, but uh, big things, all those cylinders around the machine, like spinning around the machine, spinning around the 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 metal rod that's in the center of the propeller, whatever that's called. Tim said it looks like a wooden shoe from the Netherlands. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add that to the quotes on the stream, Tim. I don't remember if you have a quote of the stream yet, but I'll put that one there. Uh, Tim Pickle. It looks like a wooden shoe from the Netherlands. Uh, comment uh, about the goose about goose plane okay I'm gonna add it to the stream later it does uh, my mom has a couple of those wooden shoes you know I think they're mostly decorative I don't know if people actually wore those things at some point when I was a kid I always thought like in World War II planes that um, that have uh, radio engines or have engines with these little things on top let me just re re reduce my drone speed here all right when I was a kid, I always thought that these things here were guns. And I was like, that's a, that's a cool looking gun, you know, it's like, looks so compact. But I don't think these are guns, I think these are, uh, uh, I don't know, radio, uh, compressor for the radiator, for, uh, I don't know, some sort of compressor thing. Is that a light? I think that's just uh, some sort of inlet. Super said, glad to be here, it's been a while, how's everyone doing? And uh, he agrees with Tim that it looks like a wooden shoe. There, there it is in profile. You can see how that's what's going on there. Uh, here, let's let's get a wooden shoe here. I'm I'm doing good. Uh, Bat, how are you doing? Um, I moved to Michigan, so I've I've been getting set up here. One thing that yesterday I did to power up the stream. We're not gonna have. I know it's fun sometimes to see an accident where uh, the green screen falls on my head or knocks over the track I are or the camera. But that's probably not going to happen anymore because look, I can hit it now, all right? And it stays put because I put a couple of, uh, I made a little MacGyver and uh, thing that I hang it up. And then when I'm done, I, I take it down again. So it's, it, it, might, it might go in the wind a little bit, you know, but uh, it's going to stay up. I'm not going to crash on my head. And... Um, that's one thing that that's happened here and i am going to be starting to add uh, behind the scenes photos about the hypertext hero stream and for that we have a brand new people a brand new instagram uh, hypertext hero actual all right a brand new instagram channel there's nothing there yet but that things are coming i will probably also just put it on hypertexthero.com because i like to have things uh in a place that uh that I, I, I have uh, more control over. But uh, that's going to be part of uh, of the stream going forward. With details of the behind the scenes uh, things here in the stream. Uh, look how thick the wing is. Very nice uh, reflection. We have like the... I guess this... Uh, I guess they have three different colored lights on the port wing. Uh, the red will probably be lit all the time. And maybe the green and, and yellow are signaling lights. This particular model of the goose, according to the manual that I base very basic just glanced over at the introduction, is uh, the trainer version. So it's not uh, the executive, uh, rich, uh, uh, great Gatsby's 
uh, flying from uh, Long Island to New York City. So they're, they're, they're like basically aerial taxis. This is the actual Navy trainer. Uh, not this particular paint job here, but, um, but uh, this particular model that has been modeled here has been modeled after a real airplane based in Alaska, I think, that's been restored to basically pristine condition. And, um, and so that's also exciting. It's a little, you know, it's uh, look, look at these wires attached here. It's, it's, it's a little unique. It's the kind of airplanes I like. Counterweights on the, on the elevators. Oh, here's the, here's the trim, the, the, the trim, uh, flapperons, whatever they're called, the little trim flaps. Let's see if we got yaw trim. Uh, yes we do. There you go, you got yaw trim. That, that's the rudder. It's fun to be playing this and then my balsa model flight simulator because we're learning about, uh, how these things fly and, and how, uh, how they, uh, interact of the air as we uh, as we go you know there's the uh, elevator trim very cool so like we can come here and we can see how these things these things are actually put together and then maybe we can go to balsa mod of flight simulator and make ourselves one someone pro probably already has a lot of people are making a lot of things for that game there's this iron thing here attaching it probably to you know make sure it doesn't fly off BR001 Here's these things are this thing flow lands on water Someone commented in the forums that there's no uh, water uh, There's no sound when you land of water of this that'll be a little disappointing if that if that's the case I hope they add it But this thing when you take off you can uh, basically stow the the landing gear there and land it on water Super bad says doing better I hurt my back Trying to do a week's work in a day. Oh, yeah! Watch out your back. I've learned the hard way that as you get older, uh, I have to be more careful with my body. So you know, I know how to bend my knees instead of using my back to carry boxes now, for example. But sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, bat. I have a couple of pilots there. Maybe this is a general minor Microsoft Flight Simulator issue that when you get close, the pilots they disappear. I thought it was a. The PT-17 Stearman that did that, but uh, apparently not. We take a quick look in here, from coming from the outside view. Very uh, sparse cockpit. Okay, there's some stuff up here too. The widgeon, the weird thing of the widgeon was that you had to look behind you to... I think it was... There you go. Took me ages like to find out that was behind me that there was the the cut up fuel cutoff valves. It's behind you. He has this cross feed here. I guess that's they have a whole fuel system uh, modeled. And there's the fuel level. We're about fifty percent full on the port side and the starboard side. About fifty percent fuel there as well. And what is this thing? This is the main fuel valve. We're gonna put at the. Uh, we're gonna put that to both probably. I'm just gonna try and uh, can you go in the back here? Oh man, it can go in the back. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> get this is like a school classroom here. I go to the back of the goose. Uh, this is not for a for a great Gatsby from New York in the 30s. This is for uh, you know some grunts being transported somewhere. Very little comfort here. Here you go. Some Regatron coming in. We are in St. Lucia. That's uh, Tango Lima, Papa Lima. We'll get going soon. I'm just taking a look at the airplane. Bathroom. Fantastic. Fantastic. We got a bathroom. We got a bathroom. We got a latrine. So if you have to go, you may be at uh, 10,000 feet. No problem. What's outside? Oh, look at that. There's a lead there. A little bit of clipping there. Nothing serious, you know. Slight little clip there. Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. Want to stink up the whole plane. We have some crates here. Warning, caution. And uh, I think uh, that last thing was uh, I pressed the wrong button and uh, ended up uh, 
going outside again, but I think the last thing was uh, some stairs. Deploy stow exit ladder. I clicked on it. All right, let's do it. Does it flush if you click on this? Let's see. I put a couple of bed in there instead of those chairs. Is the warning sign for the natural bombs being <laughs> traps, perhaps? Perhaps. Here. I'm trying to click on this. Nothing is happening. Maybe it's because I'm in this external view. There's a, this is, this, uh, th there's several different, uh, there's two different models. There's, uh, with wheels and there's, um, and there's with skis. There's several different libraries. I don't know if picking a different library may change the, the, the internals. We'll find out. Let me just go back to cockpit view. I'm going to put this back behind the airplane. Let's take a quick look at the top of it. Well, it's a very uh, stubby, uh, sort of chubby little thing. Looks like a toy airplane from this uh, this angle. All right, big antenna in the front. I don't know if this is v VHF. Is the antenna? All right, so that's a quick little uh, exploration from the outside. One more thing: I look at the detail on the wheels. Very cool. All right, there's a little door here. Don't know if you can open these. You can! Awesome. I like that it clicks too. Very nice. The exit ladder is the only thing that I clicked and it didn't seem to do anything. Oh, there you go. Now it worked. Oh, I had to open the door first. That's a nice touch. I had to open the door first, okay. And look, it's just like a super basic piece of metal. That'll be a good spot, yeah. In the room, that's usually better, but or like upstairs, but that's fine. Amber, so we're we're slowly uh, getting hypertext uh, and uh, and uh, writing HQ here set up, so Amber may drop by once in a while. Very basic, this thing. Uh, can I click on it to put it away again? Do I have to click, come and click here again? Let's take a look. Okay, we'll stow it again. Very nice. I like these little touches. It reminds me of Mist, you know, if you're an old school video gamer. Hey, Mort! And Matt says, I think you have to open the door. Yeah, exactly. You were there before me, Matt. Thank you. There are more Easter eggs too, but I'll let you find them for yourself. Awesome. How are you, Mort? Been a while, man. I heard it's like been burning hot there. I talked to my aunt in, uh, in Norwich. She said they didn't know what she was thinking about getting in her car, turning it on and putting on AC because they don't have AC in the house. She said it thankfully cooled down now. That's scary, huh? Very nice sound. I love that clump. Cool looking airplane. Okay, let's go inside. Let's try to turn her on. Take one more, one, one more, one more look here. We're at St. Lucia right now. More doing okay. Cooler today, but yeah, damn hot. Yeah, my mom is complaining about it in Italy. My my aunt in Norwich in the UK. So uh, scary, huh? All right, that works. A little bit of an issue there, but uh, that's not a big... We're rarely going to be looking something that closely. There's a couple of uh, handles up here for people, and this is like the place for you to climb up on the side and inspect the engines. That, that black strip there, the non-slip stick. Not non-slip uh, tape, uh, like sort of sandpaper you put on. Very nice. So I like the weathering on it. All right. All right, let's go inside. I'm going to just try to... Let's see if there's a checklist. Does it have a Cutter's Goose library? I'm um, not sure. After this flight, I'm going to do one flight here. We do have the guesstimator activated. Uh, now it's guess, not predict. So if you haven't been back in the stream for a while, the, we, I changed the command to be a little sh uh, shorter. Uh, I don't have Neofly running. 
because I wouldn't be able to afford one of these planes. Maybe I could rent it, but I think now in Neofly for early access, you have to uh, submit planes you want them to have in the game, and then they add it themselves. So it takes a little time, so you can't just add it yourself manually yet. But let's see if there's a checklist. All right. Thanks, Mort. Yeah, and you don't have to be here. You can just put in your guests and get, go do whatever you're doing. Continue up on of your day. Happy Friday to everyone, by the way. Um... Those trips are for maintenance. Yeah, I think so, sir. But I think those trips out there are, um, you know, non-slip. Like, for example, here, where we're moving to here in Michigan, there's this stairs, and it's painted white, and it's so slippery, so I almost, like, smash, I almost, like, careen down the stairs where I try to go down them wearing socks once. So I'm thinking about putting these things, but the problem is there's no banister. So you, so if I put these things that, that you come and you... Uh, you, you you step on this texture. This texture here could be a little bit sharper, but, you know, no big deal. But if you step on something that you s maybe stop too fast, and then you still crash the stairs because you, you don't have anything to hold on to. You know, minor things like that, but uh, it can be major if you are one of the people to fall over. So, uh... Uh... There is a checklist. This is not the free one. There is a free one. I think it's still out there. Uh, the free one, it, um, it, uh, these things here retract. This is the payware one. I just bought it because I, I put a vote on the stream the other day. What plane should I, should Hypertech Zero, uh, uh, fly next? And, uh, this one over the Caproni Avi, I forget the name. It's like a glider of jet engines. It was either that, this, or the Embraer Ipanema crop duster. This one out. And I'm kind of happy, in a way I'm happy there because I want to hear the sound of these, uh, these big engines starting up. This is 25 bucks. No, I just bought it. I always buy it from the developer. I've never bought anything from the Microsoft store because I've heard, uh, I don't know, some not good things from it. So if I, if I can buy it from the developer, I always buy it from the developer. It's called Big Radios. Major improvement. Yeah, I get that copy. All right. All right, let's let's try this out. Let's try the checklist. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go here. Let's try it out. Free flight inspection cockpit. All right, doors closed. Um, I guess let's go ahead and close the doors. I'll just go from the external view here. You don't want doors banging around back here and uh, causing uh, maybe one of those. Those crates to fly in and uh, and behead one of the passengers. Come back in here. We do have the 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 little uh, first aid in case that were to happen. I mean, if you if uh, if if you're gonna get beheaded, I don't know how much first aid you do, but maybe you're someone like uh, a vampire. This plane does look a little bit uh, like a gothic flying machine. I mean, look at the front of it. It looks like something even Batman would uh, fly. A Batman from, like, the, the early Batmans, you know? So, uh... Alright, doors are closed. I'll just uh, tick that. Cargo, if loaded, secure. We're just gonna click that because that's the, the shit looks secure back there. Cabin report, uh, secure. Oh, there's a little door here, I just noticed. All right, another little, uh, I think this is a luggage compartment. Oh, fire extinguisher, old school fire extinguisher. I think this is a fire extinguisher. Deploy stow exit ladder. Oh, it's another way for you to put that to, uh, to deploy that ladder. I guess you can click here to deploy it too, or is it, am I going crazy? I, th I saw this. Oh no, I'm, 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 I'm clicking. I think it's, it's, it's getting the other side. And there's a, it, it's a, it's detecting the mouse uh, over on the other side of the, uh, of the, of this panel. Ooh, look at this. Front, oh! <laughs> it's so awesome. That's like a VW Beetle. You can go, you can go out the front. Look at that. That's nice. It's so odd. Okay, this is nice. It's a little, uh, what looks like uh, an anchor and a little buoy. Maybe, uh, I can't click on that, but maybe it's something you would, uh, you would deploy if you were to land on water. Um, let me try to close this thing up here. 
Secret storage. Is that Guile, that emote from Street Fighter 2? Family man. It looks like Guile from Street Fighter 2 to me. You know, he his level was to be my favorite one to, to fight because there was an F-16 in it. How do I close this now? Do I, do I come up here? Okay, I just clicked a bunch of times around the general vicinity and it worked. Alright, so that's another little secret compartment there. Nice little touches here. Close that. So tempted to pick this up. I love the goose ever since Tales of the Gold Monkey in the 80s. Never seen that. Uh, is that was that a, a, a movie or a, or a TV series? There's the rudder trim. Is this going to be elevator here? Pitch, yep, that's, a, that's the elevator trim. What's this thing? Landing gear. Ooh, it's a twisty landing gear. Okay, not electric. This is an early goose. This is a, the trainer. This is, there's something here on the floor. Whoa, all right. I heard there's a, some secret compartments here, like a bat, uh, a mat said. Let me get this camera a little bit slower. It's getting away from me a little bit. Ah, okay, this, this, look at this thing. Okay, so this is their little uh, Easter egg for, you can have your, 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 uh, I think this is a Garmin, a GPS. You, you do have a GPS hidden here if you want that, okay. And here you go, yokes, you can hide, show them, yoke styles, leather, normal. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, right now, uh, I think that's normal. Let's put leather. Let me turn the volume up on the music here. All right, uh, I'm gonna put the left one uh, leather and the right one is normal. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's leather and that's normal. I like the leather. Let's put the leather there. Yokes show hide. Okay, that's pretty uh, self explanatory. Fishing stool on. Is that gonna be outside? Water helper. Wheel hubs and anchor. Okay, there are the wheel hubs. I can see that. The fishing stool is probably going to be something that uh, when you're in water. And the anchor as well. Unless it's something that appears here. I bet it's going to be one where if we're landed on water, then they appear. All right, well, that's kind of a Carlos Santana sounding uh, song, so that's appropriate for being in St. Lucia. Okay, I'll just turn those things off now. We'll do a water landing and then we'll turn those on and see. Uh, we'll just turn all this off. Maybe I just didn't notice it, but we'll get there. If I buy this, I'll have to fly a mess more, though. What have you been flying, Mort? TV show was great, but only lasted one season. Kind of Indiana Jones type thing set in the 30s, 40s in the Pacific. Cool. Never heard of it. Tales of the Gold Monkey. Well, let me write that down. You can look at it after the stream. The Tales of the Gold Monkey. If you click on top of that hidden panel, it slides up. Oh. Oh, nice, so you can have it. Okay, that's the hatch. Oh, nice, so it goes up here so you can... Oh, that is pretty awesome. All right, let's leave it up here. I like that. An applause for Matt. Thank you. So many good video games to play. All right, okay. There's a little far extinguisher thing from this side. Alright, let's turn it on. A quick look. Uh, recognition light key switch. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to turn on the battery. Let's do it. Let's keep going through the checklist. The doors are... Um, are closed now, so we can go back to that. And also, for some reason, the drones... Oh no, it is, it is to remember. I thought the drone speed wasn't remembering my uh, setting, but it did remember. All right, ca cabin, uh, you know, shit secured. That's fine, we'll ticket. Ignition. Okay, I, it doesn't sh show me where it is. Oh, maybe because I, I, I'm in uh, 
here. I'm in drone view, maybe? No. Where is the ignition? Center track IR here. I think it was up here. Starter. Ignition, there it is. Okay, that's both on the right angle, or starboard angle, and it's both on the left. Okay, both those are off. I'll take that. Fuel selector. Okay, now it's showing to me. Okay, that's behind you. That's the one that's behind you. Off, okay. That's on, that's off, that's on, that's off. All right. We'll check that. Fuel shot off valve. That's a little to the left. Uh, hold up. I think track IR confuses this thing. Um... Oh, that's the cross feed. Okay, stand by. I'm a little bit uh, rusty of track IR now because I have a... Uh, I have a new uh, throttle. It's a VKB throttle. And... Um, And, um, oh, here we go. This is it. Yes. Uh, fuel should evolve uh, across. No, I think it's behind this. Maybe a little bit low. This thing? Oh, manual fuel pump. No, it's not that thing. Exit ladder. No, that was something on there. This one here, I think. Yeah, here you go. Off. That's both. Off, okay. Take item mixture. Mixture, where is it? Uh, center track IR again. This it? That's it. Mixture, cut off. Okay, take a quick look. Lean. My mixture is uh, set here, I think, now. Okay, mixture is cut off. We'll check that. Starting the engine. Here we go. And uh, one second, let me see the chat. Um, most of them flying DCS. Cool. How's the throttle? The throttle is nice, Morton. Here, I'll show it to you real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right. You weren't here, I think, when... Um, I opted... Uh, uh, Zero to Hero Alex let me know that this was out. I had been waiting for it. Well, thank you to Zero to Hero for letting me know. It's a VKB uh, Gladiator. Uh, it has... Uh, I bought the set that comes with uh, this thing. This thing here, which is uh, usually like three little things. You know, one's white, one's red, one's blue. It's the GNX uh, THQ, it's called. Uh, this hard to see of the light there. Okay, and then this grip is a World War II grip. I like this one because it's for elite. I have thrusters up and down, forward and back, and uh, uh, left and right here. Okay, and it's all modular because I can remove here it has three three levers, and then this is attached to this other little base thing that comes with it. And then uh, up here you have another modular thing, which is the GNX SEM. I, I always forget what the heck this stuff stands for. And this has like a landing gear, a fla flaps, a bunch of other buttons. Uh, one thing I had to do temporarily until I figure out how to do it better, I disabled all these buttons here because for Elite, the 32 button limit, uh, it won't, uh, it, it starts getting confused. So I just disable these buttons because it's, I don't need like 2 million buttons. I just need, uh, you know, more than, uh, than what just the sticks gives me. But it feels really nice. A very nice, um, you can tighten these, uh, these screws here. Can tighten these screws so that it's very uh this thing here is very um very um <laughs> there it goes it's very light or medium or really heavy to move which is a really nice feature as well and it has a, a full fully programmable software it's really nice i'm very happy with my vkb uh, stuff after i got the the gladiator i i wanted to stick with them so yeah for cold war should work well too huh <laughs> Nice here, let me make myself smaller again. All right. Mirage F1 and fish bed. Yeah, I saw the, the Mirage F1 is, uh, is available now, right? Early access. You know what made me think of a Mirage F1 the other day? 
now that I live in rural America in the countryside, when I'm sitting outside, I look and I can see the birds everywhere. Birds are coming towards me, you know, and when they're coming towards me sometimes, if you look at the wing of a bird, you know, the bird, uh, the wing is not on the side of the, it's not attached to the side of the animal. The, the wing is, is sort of over the top of the animal, okay? So that reminds me of a Mirage F1 because it has like, a, or a Cessna 152. The wings is on the top, but the Mirage F1, uh, I, th I think that's the Mirage F1. The wings are on the top and a little like the Harrier, they're like, has the, the reverse. So I always forget the name of that stuff. I'm going to have to get better at talking about this because I'm going to play more Balsa Model Flight Simulator. Um, all right, I'm talking enough though. Customized sensitivity. Yeah, very, very nice. I love the sensitivity on this stuff. It's really nice. All right. Okay, brakes. Test and set. Uh, let's see. Parking brake is set. Okay. Uh, tick item. Battery switches on. Oh, right here. Okay. One, two, thick item, carburetor here, cold, that's in, okay, for both engines, we have two, two engines in this thing, alright, prop liver, minimum RPM, that's increase, that's decrease, okay, check that, fuel selector, oh shit, wait, both. That's that one over there that we were having trouble finding. Both. We'll check. We'll che we already ticked it. Fuel shut off valve open. Um. On. On. Uh, tick. Fuel pump. Pump for 3, 4 PSI. So is that like 4, four times or something? 1. Or do I have to look at a dial somewhere? Two, three, four. Or is the, does the fuel pressure appear up here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. We're at six right now. It's a little bit too much. Look, it, it went past. It went ju it just it just past six. Hopefully that'll be fine. Take that. Wonder how do you release the fuel pressure? You just uh, close the valves again or something? I don't know. Ignition. Center and pause track area again. Ignition. This one. Ignition. There. Okay. On. All right. Both. Both were on. I guess I'll just put both. Um, all right, we'll check that mixture. Cut off. Mixture is cut off. Okay, we check that. Tick prime as required. It looks like uh, two levers on the fuel pressure pump thing. Oh, was it two? Let's take a look. You know, can, can I do this from? Can I click on it from a uh, not pilot view? Let's let me go to the to this is the uh, I'm on I'm on the uh, drone view. So it'll be easier for me to move around here. Now, I think it's just one lever. If, if you're talking about this, just one lever. Primer, uh... It's pointing this way. Is this the... Pr no, this is the throttle. That's the mixture. Propeller RPM is up there. Cross feed we haven't touched.
Fire extinguisher, cool. Recognition lights. I think that's the rudder trim. Uh, tail wheel is locked. Servo speed. Yeah, I'm not sure what the primer thing is. Let's just uh, tick. Throttle open half an inch. All right. Half an inch over there. Engine magnesium both on start. Okay. Oh, magnetos both. Engine one star switch. Okay, engine one magnetos both. So I had I had it on on, and now I had to put both. I guess, but it wasn't going. I think the the fuel. There's a problem with the fuel. I'm not sure. Maybe you have to prime it. I'm not sure where the primer is. Is it back here? Those are on. Fuel pressure is there. Generators, they didn't, haven't tell, told me anything about generators yet. That's the actual pie. My eyes are playing tricks on me. No worries. No, no, dude, no problem. Should I like it? Should I leave this uh, on on maybe? I think instead of both, maybe it's just there. Well. All right. Engine one magnetos start. Okay, so that's engine one. Magnetos both. Wobble pump below fuel valves. Okay, thank you, Matt. Let's check that out. So the fuel valves are here. Is this thing? the pump is to inflate your autopilot <laughs> i was thinking about including the inflatable autopilot there uh on that redeemable video maybe i'll wait i'll make that a longer one huh let's take a look at the psi on this thing your pressure is right it's like right before right above six Maybe the mixture? Should I put maybe the maybe the mixture should be a little higher? Let's put the mixture on that engine. Let's just open it up both of them. Yeah, I mean I was following the thing. They said cut off the mixture. Oh here you go. Yeah, it's the mixture. Maybe this is a a bug here because it said cut off oh now oh right after you do that you put the mixture rich okay so you probably have to do it right after all right i guess we'll do uh i guess we'll do the second engine as well let's put both um stand by Let me put Microsoft adjust the sound levels here. Mm -hmm. Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's too low. That sound a little better. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start the second engine. Um, there you go.
If it's too loud, just let me know. I'll turn it down. Take a quick look at the sound levels in Microsoft Flight Simulator because depending on the plane I'm flying, I, I often adjust uh, the sound levels. Like the BN2, for example, sounds so loud you have to turn it down. Uh, let me just take a quick look at uh, where that is. Oh, here you go. Aircraft angle. See, I'm down at 29. It's okay. We'll, we'll just leave it there. We'll just we'll just keep it like this and see what it sounds like once we put the throttle up. Because right now it's idling, okay? All right. Adjust for 1,000 RPM or less. Where is the RPM uh, gauge in this thing? Is that it? Oh. Losing my uh, zoom, that's because my mouse cursor was over that checklist thing. Oil pressure, cylinder. Okay, that's the RPM, but I want to see the gauge. It's probably going to be in here, in front, right? Pretty important thing. There's airspeed, there's altitude. We have... Uh Not seeing the RPM on this. Oh, there it is, right in front. Okay, a thousand or left. Manifold pressure right below it. Oh, am I moving? Oh, I'm moving. I have to my parking brake. Just turn it down a bit. All right. Okay, is it about a thousand or less? Oil pressure in green sector. Sound for the engine plus voice and no music is just perfect on my end. Awesome, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I know it can depend on uh, headphones and all that sort of stuff. I try to keep it a, a nice balance here. I'm, I'm always continuously working on it. We're in the green and the oil pressure. Prop lever max RPM, let's do it. Let's leave it below a thousand. Okay. Oil pressure in green sector, we checked that we had skipped one. No, that's oil temperature. Fuel pressure, oil pressure, there is the green sector, that's fine. Oil temperature at least 30 degrees centigrade, uh, yes, we're uh, at about 75. Taxi parking brake is released, uh, we had released it inadvertent, inadvertently. So I'll just check that, it's this thing over here. Throttle just just 1000 RPM or less, I think we should still be there, yep. Taxi, uh, 0 to 10 degrees, uh, what does 0 to 10 degrees mean? Smoothly, you know, full aft. I'm not sure what that means, if it's a flaps or uh... So I'm just gonna tick. I'm gonna just tick, and I'm gonna just tick. Run up. Alright, we'll get that. Let's talk to ATC, and then we'll get back to this, alright. Take a look at the airplane. Here what Nora air traffic information system we want to take well let's take off and we'll remain in pattern. Telenora ground HYPRTXTHRO1 with Sierra request taxi for takeoff touch and go. Oh nice, there's someone here. Runway 10 by a taxiway cross runway 10. Contact tower on 118 
One zero, we'll acknowledge that. Taxi two and hold short runway. One zero, using taxiway cross runway. One zero, hypertext row one. Let's see, runway one zero, where is it? That's two wait. One zero is gonna be on the other side. St. Lucia, where my dad lived though, before he met my mom, before he went to Brazil. Many good things to say about this place. Never been one day I wanna go here. <laughs> we just careened right into this uh, parking area back here because we inadvertently opened up our our uh, released our parking brake. Let's go. It's a big, like, uh, heavy feeling thing, this. Watch the fuel truck. One of the earliest highlights of the Hypertext Hero stream when we started uh, streaming. I was so excited to see a fuel truck come and, uh, and refuel us. I think it was in Tunis or somewhere in North Africa. There's a definite uh, delay from moving the throttle to the engine uh, getting uh, up to speed, up to the speed that you're requesting of it. Okay, I guess we're going to have to taxi on the grass here. It's fine, let's just do it. Let's see if there's uh, how the sound is from... Yeah, this, the sound doesn't seem to change. I mean, maybe it's because the engines are so loud, but uh, I don't hear a change in sound from taxiing on the... on uh, regular uh, tarmac and grass. I don't know if that's something that the developer has to add. But I do appreciate when those are... Like in the Cessna 152, it's so nice when you transfer from uh, tarmac to the grass. You can totally tell the difference. Maybe it's there and the engine's just so loud. I have to center this track IR. Let's move up here. There you go, that's a better view. The Grumman Goose. can see those wheels moving. Keep pressing 5 on my keyboard. A mistake. The Dutch wooden shoe! Who said that your mix is okay? That I, I read that already. Become less excitable reading the chat. This stuff turned on. I like the touch. I like the touch. The, the touch that this is hidden over there, and it's like an Easter egg. Very nice idea. I like that a lot. Oh, there's some lights here. Let's watch out for these. Holy moly, Galaxic Cat coming in and gifting five tier one sub to the stream. Stand by, we have to pause here one second. Holy moly. Is it? Wait a minute. Is it your birthday, Galaxic Cat? I, I think I saw that it's your birthday soon. Holy moly. I have to stop here one second. Holy moly, gifted one tier sub to Elias Speaks. We're currently in St. Lucia, not far from where Elias is. One to Gabby Agura. 
from São Paulo, who lives in São Paulo, Brazil at least. One to uh, Romeo Hotel Tango 341. One to the Dalek DK. One to Captain Kanga Rooster. Thank you so much, Galaxia Cat. One of our intrepid moderators coming in here and um, and gift so kindly gifting so many uh, subs. Uh, oh, sorry, Miss misspelling. Galaxia Cat. Come on, Hyper. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, standby, stamp and standby. We're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to do something here. Um uh, one second. Let me just get ourselves set up here. And then uh, we're, we're going to have to do something for Galaxia over here. Happy birthday, Galaxia. This one here goes out for you. Um, one second. All right. Uh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Galaxia Cat. Happy birthday to one goes out to you, Galaxia Cat. I hope you're having a great Friday. Good day to have a birthday. Hopefully things are not too hot in the Netherlands or hot in the right way, but not in the wrong way. And I hope that uh, you have an excellent weekend ahead of you. And keep an eye on your stream inbox over. Happy birthday, Galaxia Cat. Uh, just a random little song here. We'll play something else in the end of the stream. And thanks so much for those subs. I appreciate it. Let's take off of this thing. Over. All right. Do you have big plans? Are you going to go out and have some beers? Or stay home? With family or friends? Oh, and we have more over here. You got the plane. <laughs> and applause. We got Mort right here. I think he has a different library or is it the same as me? Yeah, keep your eye keep your eye on your steam later, Galaxia. Alright, we got to reward our moderators here too. Oh, Cutter's Goose! He does have this. The, is that the one you were talking about, Mord? I think that's the one you were talking about, Mord. All right, you can lead this. Let me just get ready here to the checklist. Look at these radio engines, the twin radio engines. I'm gonna just do a quick checklist check. Mord is off. Should we just to hell with the checklist and just go? Let's see. Taxi run up. Parking brake set. Okay, let, let's park by Mort and we'll, and we'll follow the checklist, all right? Good weather today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Galaxia, very much for your, your very generous gift of five subs here in the stream. We'll come back to you, I promise. All right, Mort, here you go. Mort's taken off. I'm going to set, uh, set the parking brake. Uh, check. Yoke, full aft. All right. Uh, check. Prop, uh, RPM levers, that's uh, already full open. It's up here. Check, uh, mixture auto rich. Uh, I think, uh, that's already set there. Let's take a quick look. Uh, 
Rich, yeah. Check uh, manifold pressure 30 inch. That's going to be right here. Gonna check that. Cylinder head pressure. Oh, look at that! Those radio sounds. I don't know where that is. I'll just pretend it's fine. Oil pressure, min twenty five are seventy to ninety. That's uh, up here. Yep, we're at ninety. Tick oil pressure. Oh. Oil temperature, 60 to 102, or just about a 102. A little bit higher. I'm just going to tick fuel pressure. Let's just go. Let's go, because the oil pressure is getting higher. Let's go. Oh, shit. Release the parking brake. Tail wheel locked. I didn't lock it. We're just going to take off. Vibrator heat, hopefully, is fine. Maybe, oh, and we're, we're flying already. This thing jumped into the air. Probably pretty windy here. I forgot the class for clearance. I was so excited about Galaxia's uh, gift subs and birthday that I just forgot everything. Where's the gear lever? After takeoff, I didn't put flaps down. Gear selector. Confirm up looking through what? Looking through inspection window. Okay, I'm just gonna press gear here. Trying to open this window, it's not opening. Maybe there's a lock. They stay home also have extra cat to watch over. Oh, alright. Is it by a cat from from someone I know, perhaps? The window uh, doesn't seem to... It, it says open, but maybe there's a lock somewhere. Or maybe I'm just not clicking at the right spot. Let's, let's try to find Mort. I'm going to put the engine sound up a little bit because I think it should be a little higher. One second. Uh, sound. Let's put it at 50. I'm going to reduce the RPM now. I think it's a little too fast. Those big wasps out there. Leave it about 2,000, I think. Nice, all right. All right. More expected. Matt's there. Wow. Okay. Let's fall. Let's go. Let's go and follow them. I don't know if the window doesn't come up above a certain airspeed, or if there's a lock. I like to open these. Can't right now. That's the flap control. Where's the landing gear control? No, I didn't turn on any lights. Which I thought was odd. Maybe I just, uh, I, I was, uh, I went too fast. What is this thing? Gyro pilot. Fire extinguisher. Heading hold. So it, do, it does have some autopilot. Steady. The light's not on yet. Window lock is in the corner. Okay. 
Oh, here you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Nice. Nice. Oh, how do I get that one back? Oh, there it is. This thing is pretty fast. Let's go uh, rendezvous with Mort and Matt. This clicks your hearing as me of the trim. Let's see if everything is in the green uh, on those... Uh, they just the green, green. The temp oil temperature is a little high. Right at the edge of the, uh, whoa. Right at the edge of the green there. The oil temperature, the pressure is fine. For some reason on my track IR keeps uh, crapping out there. Let me just uh, try to um, uh, reset it again. Whoa, that IR really going nuts here. Track IR still going nuts. What's going on here? Let me move it over this way. I think I got the lights on now. That's red. Why is the green ones not coming on? A little odd. And there, here comes Matt and Mort. Alright, I'm gonna set a course to uh, the south. I think, uh, let's, where's the compass on this? Here we go. No, we took, to the north. Okay, we're headed uh, north right now. I'm just gonna st stick with this course, go on the coast. And uh, I'm gonna lower the throttle a bit, see if they can catch up. Um, yeah, beautiful flying machine. <laughs> nice. Turn the music back on. <laughs> The JRF-6, I think it's called Goose. So many moving parts uh, with this takeoff that I, 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 I'm, I feel a little bit uh, lost for words right now. Trimmer for level flight here. Then I'll look back and try to get a good screenshot. Um, I don't think... Do we have like a... Oh, here you go. The flight attitude indicator. Keep our nose above the horizon a bit. Get that thing right there.
And here we are. We have Matt on the starboard side, and we have Mord coming up on the port side. Wonderful. Here in St. Lucia. I think each of them have a different library as well. Take a look at Matt's plane. Very cool looking air mach fly machine. Until Until's airboat. Airboats, very nice. I like how that landing gear stows in. And then we have Mord coming up behind here. With that library he was speaking about of the... Let's take a look at it. Not gonna crash into any mountains, right? We got Gianmarco of 90 up ahead. And here it is, Mort's uh, Cutter's Goose. <laughs> I guess this is from the TV show that they were talking about, Mort. Very cool little air flying machine. Beautiful. Where are we? Let's see how far to go to the other side of the island. There's an airfield around there, I think. So we're gonna... We can follow the coast up. Not the first river to the left, but the second one to the left. I think if we follow that, we'll get to uh, Tango Lima, Papa Charlie. We can do a landing over there. That sound all right? We could also land somewhere closer if uh, there's some of an interesting spot there somewhere. Ciao. What then? More pens? Whoa. There's more. <laughs> so cool. Let's leave it unlocked. There's Matt to the starboard. Wait, Mort has it too? He just got it! He just got it! He was talking about it. He, he just got it. There he is. Oh, Matt. Turning away. Thanks so much, Matt, for joining us. Oh, he's going to go for a water landing. Should we try that? Let's, let's follow Matt in for a water landing. Let's do it. Put in your guess. I think water landing scout for guesses. I've never actually done, I think. Uh, this will be the first time in the guesstimator for a water landing. Let's let's follow Matt into a water landing. If you want to guess to mate or if you want to put in a guess, let's see if this will work. Think about these twins. I have to lean all the way over to be able to see uh, out the side. Out the other side. And what a life, you know, you fly uh, one of these wonderful birds, uh, you land on a beach, you go swimming, you have a, some nice seafood, then you take off again, fly somewhere else. Mort says, anyone know how to turn the damn Atis off? Uh, I think you click on it. And you tune, you tune to something else. Uh, I managed to, there's this thing down here. I don't know if that's the has the radios. I, I haven't looked uh, at any th radio thing. Put the fl I'm gonna throw the flaps down, sixty degrees. Here we go, first landing on the goose, water landing. I think I'm coming a little hot. Fifty 
Thank you, Alec. Here we go. Let's see if it works on water. I've never done a, a water landing for the guesses before, so this will be a test. And Mort wins! Oh, that was a hard landing. That's pretty hard. So here's what the person in the forum was telling me about. There's no uh this is this is a minus. There's no sound of landing on water, which is too bad. I didn't hear a sound. I hope that they add the sound of landing on water, because come on, it's a water plane. I went to a sound of landing on water. Uh, I'm not getting any control now. I think that there's probably a tailwheel lock or something. Stand by. Stand by. Thanks, Matt. Bon appetit. It's more landed. Put our flaps up. Yeah, it's too bad you don't have the sound of landing on water. I hope they add it. I'm gonna write the developer and ask if they have plans to add it. A flying boat? Alright, let's take off and head to that other airfield. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the checklist again to see if there's something about a uh, water We Oh, there's that, that one thing we wanted to check. There was these uh, sort of easter egg things down here. Which is a fishing stool. Water helper, wheel hubs. I think the water helper lets you turn left and right because I think that's a Microsoft Flight Simulator limitation. That you have a limited control on water. Let's put the anchor on and let's see what this looking like. Like this. Oh, here you go. There's the there's the there's the anchor. Maybe the fishing stool we have to open the back. Go ahead uh, to the back there. Here comes more of his landing. Coming in hot. Oh. Oh dear. And he stopped. I think he's going to stop right on top of it. <laughs> Look at the sharp little turn. Oh, an applause. Oh, almost got it. <laughs> I smart. I thought I was gonna do that. Somehow I, uh, I managed not to, but uh, that's something that usually I would do. These things are like uh, it's like uh, they're on ice and all on water. We'll forget the the stool. Let's just keep going. <laughs> all right. And who who won? The, it was uh, I think. Uh, more one, so let me add that. Let me update the landing guesstimator scoreboard. Don't forget the minus before the 115. All right. Give me one second. <laughs> Yeah, enjoying it so far. Biggest disappointment so far, no sound fetching down in the water. I don't know if it's a Microsoft Flight Simulator bug with uh, some third-party planes or if uh, it's something that has to be implemented and it hasn't, but I, I would find it curious that a water plane, there wouldn't be sound of uh, the water uh, touching down on water. And welcome, Zero to Hero Alec. Apologies if I missed any chats up there. Pull up the secret panel and switch calm frequency. Okay, that's the... That's Matt's answer to how to turn off the damn Atis. Oh.
We are approaching that uh that cliff there, so let's turn a little bit while I update the leaderboard here, standby. Leaderboard, Mort's first win in uh, in this season, I think. Eighteenth win overall. Uh, so Mort's gonna be after Kithric there. And let me. But change the modified date. Now command my com my little laptop here to update the leaderboard. That's this thing. It should be updated now. Now I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna land on land. This light's on, I'm not sure what that means. Maybe RPM. Okay, RPM to full, that's uh, up there. Flaps up, full throttle. Well, not full yet, because let's take a quick look at the checklist. Um, Maximum time for takeoff power setting five minutes. Is that a little goose? I miss playing Isle 2 by the way. I'm, I Tonight I might actually join Friday Night Flight. What time is it actually? Oh, I'm gonna have to go soon actually. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to that. I have to be somewhere uh, before 4. But uh, we're not going to be able to make it to that airfield there, so we'll just turn back and land at the main airfield, uh, wherever it was called. Watch out for the ducks. What What is that from? Wingaling Sitting Duck. Uh, Wingaling Dragon. If I have not followed this person, uh, let's go ahead and follow this person because uh, that's a nice... Uh, oh, I, I am following Wingaling Dragon. That's a nice little emote there. There is a Microsoft Flight Simulator mod that adds birds, not worldwide, but uh, you know, it's a little expensive, it's like seven bucks for different areas or three bucks, I forget. But they are collidable objects and uh, so you have to watch out for birds and I think that would be really interesting. Maybe if they, if they do it all over the world and there's a mega pack that you pay once and you can always get the updates, I'll, 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 I'll buy it. Little river here. I up spadge. <laughs> I up. I spent some time binding controls. Copy that, Mort. Yeah, I've spent quite a bit of time binding my controls of this new throttle. I'm still getting to grips with it. What's the PSI to be supposed to be at? Um, cruise. Mixture your outer reach. Prepare 1,000 signatures to 2,200. Throttle 34 max. 
Let's do the 435 there. We have 34. Um, oil pressure 70, fuel pressure, and uh, RP, proper RPM 1600 to 2200. Let's, let's leave it about 2000. Let's go to 1600. Why, why does it, a track IR do that sometimes? So annoying. All right. Bloody track IR. Let's go all the way down to 1600 and see how that sounds like. There it goes again. Oh, you know what's happening? It's like my track IR is falling over. It's, I'm just an idiot. Stand by. Something's going on with it. Maybe I'm gonna have to try that open track you guys are talking about. It'll be interesting comparison. Um, because my track IR is just totally crapping out right now. Uh... Yeah, totally crapping out now. I don't know, maybe it's something to do with my green screen? Such a cool plane, love this. This is going to get me flying in Max Effects Little More, I'm sure. Cool, awesome. Thanks for joining in, I'm glad you like it. Oh man, now my track IR is going the wrong way. What what the heck's going on? I'm gonna turn it on and off. Stand by. Off. On. And now, after turning on and off, I lost track of our completely in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know if there's a Microsoft Flight Simulator bug that, uh... Or there's some track IR update. But there's something weird with my track IR. Outside of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it seems to be working fine. Uh, but when I get in the game now, it is out. So we're just gonna do this landing without it. Where's the airfield? Right ahead. Nice landscapes around here. Is that it? I think it's over there. Yeah, it's over there. A little rusty of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, it's plenty plan a lot of time playing this game lately. Uh, let's follow that plane in. Let's talk to uh, air traffic control. Oh, radio off. The electrical system will be turned on. What the heck? I didn't... There was nothing in the checklist about the electrical systems, which I thought was odd. Um, where the heck is the electrical system on this? This is uh, a gyro pilot. Oh, here probably? Oh, position lights. Okay, landing lights to turn on. Instrument. Problem is, without track IR, I don't know how to move around the airplane any longer.
think that's radio over there. Can't get around it because I know how to get there. Let's go to drone view and see if we can get there that way. Any click into th on things from drone view? I don't think I ever tried that. You can, you can actually click on things from drone view. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, what were the keys to move around here? Radio. Ah. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I know, we have to go. All right, people, I'm just going to have to improvise a landing. No air traffic control or anything, because or anything, I'm going to have to go. But uh, let's just land wherever we can. Not in the water. We're going to attempt a, uh, uh, a land landing. Gear down. You have to manually do it several times. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know how to fly airplanes without track IR anymore, so that's a big problem. I'm pressing G, nothing happens. Goodness sake, all right. is not gonna be good people it's not gonna be good shit ah oh we're just gonna land on the water we're gonna have to let the let the to leave the 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 normal landing for the next time Time got away from me during the stream here, and we're just gonna have to go. I will note down who wins, and I'll update the next time. And Mort with another win and applause. I'll update it right now, actually, before I forget. We are gonna run the outro. Good job, it has floats for such case. Copy that. Zero to hero. Alec, man, thank you so much for being here. I apologize for the for the quick end to the stream. I just have to be somewhere that I forgot about. Well, I just lost track of time. More with two wins. Someone did a flyback. Thanks, Mort. 19 overall. Deploy that. I love the plane, only disappointment is no touchdown, no water sounds, uh, no touchdown on water sounds. When I come back uh, the next time here, I'm going to see what the touchdown is like on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the land. And I'll write the developer and ask about this and see what's going on. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, do a quick raid here. Let's see who's ra who's flying out there. Uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. 
I'll be back tonight for more streaming, a different video game. Um, in the meantime, happy Friday and Saturday. And uh, oh, thank you so much, Matt, for the subscription. Again, apologies for the early end to the stream. Um, let's go say hi to Futura. Peace out.